Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Black Clover episode 133. So, last time we had the uh, a raid on the volcano again. Uh, well, technically they went there to train, but secretly Sisgolian brought them there knowing that there was a strong uh, creature there that's been killing the other creatures. She's been hunting it, but it has a very good ability to hide from her, and it hides from her because it knows that she is stronger, so uh, so she brought all these weaker people with her to lure it out, <laughs> risking their lives. But I'm sure it's that she has faith in their ability, you know? Uh, and obviously she is probably faith in her own ability to get there in time to, to save anyone. In hell, let's be real. Sisgolian probably thinks that if you die to a creature like that, then you don't deserve to be a, uh, a magic knight anyway, you know? But, uh, but yeah, we, they revealed a dungeon entrance and, uh, and now they're going to be going into this dungeon that's deep in this volcano. So sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started guys, shall we? We're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. Yes. I am going to clean my glasses a bit, guys, because I thought about doing it before I started the episode, but then I was like, hey, we're going to have this intro bit that we see all the time and an opening, so might as well utilize the time and do it then. <laughs> Same with taking a sip of water. I'm like, I took a nap before I started recording because my sleep schedule is all kinds of weird. Yes. And uh, and I woke up and I was like extremely thirsty, but I was like, well, I'll drink later. I'm going to go and I cut my hair and showered and started recording. <laughs> and I still haven't drank. I have a bottle of water right in front of me, though. I shall do that here in a second. I can't wait to put these on and for them to be filthy. Still. Hmm, actually pretty good this time. I almost always have to like, do it a second or third time. Ah. A lot of recap, holy shit. Haven't even gotten to the opening yet. Okay, and now for the opening. Yep. Alright. Typical anime in their... Little recaps. I mean, how far are we into the video where, eh, I guess it's not that bad. It just felt like a, uh, I mean, I guess technically it is between, like, the little opening they do of, like, there's one guy without magic, you know, that bit, and then the recap, and then the opening, we're gonna be, like, three minutes into the episode. But shit happens. I think I've been sleeping on that scene where uh, Yami is like holding his sword and then the candle goes out and he looks over real fast. It's kind of a cool little, uh, cool little scene. Yami's such a badass though. Such a big sword. Okay. Let's go in. Oh, the others are making it here.
<laughs> I mean, you didn't say we couldn't eat. Technically, it's a part of her magic, so if you restrict it, you're restricting some of her magic. No, oh, and now we're just eating. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Powerful magic item. Maybe it could help us against the devil. <laughs> they all can hear you. <laughs> Yeah, not everyone knows that the Wizard King is small now. Okay. Ah, they're going in in smaller groups. Okay. <laughs> nice cutaway. He just wants to go explore so bad. The heat is even more intense. Three doors, which path will you choose? Ugh. Uh oh. Those are, seem like traps. We've seen those before. Oh, jeez. Ooh, okay, Randall, what you got? Nice. Seeing what he's capable of, that's cool. I would not be able to handle the heat. It's like mid to high 70s here in, in my area. And I know that's not even hot for a lot of areas. I have friends that are in like way hotter areas with like all this like heat wave that's been going on. But man, just going in like into the bathroom and like cutting my hair and stuff from my air conditioned room and everything. I was like miserable for like the 10 minutes it took me to do that. <laughs> and then I had to take a cool shower. 
And then I was still, like, kind of warm afterwards, sitting here, like, trying to cool off a bit before I started recording. And I can't run my air conditioner when I record, which stinks, or else you guys hear that the whole time. Hmm. To spur on... To spur on his growth. Give him a rival. Jeez. Just anchors on chains? I guess anchors are typically on chains. Even plant magic through this inferno. <laughs> Her face. Oh, jeez! Holy crap! That's not good. Oh. What is this? Doesn't seem as hot here. Looks very cool looking. Oh. Ooh, luring you here. Yes. I'm gonna sneeze. Nope. It went away. Wow. I was like... It was there. I even, like, convulsed a little bit. Uh-oh. It's turning them on! All right, Leo, let's do this. No, so they just ran out. Oh my God. What the hell is that? I hate it. Uh So mimic. Ah! Her face was so serious. Okay. Did he... Damn bug. I was hoping I got rid of that fly earlier. And now it's gonna annoy me. I hate summer. Uh-oh. Don't get too eager, Leo. <clears throat> Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Uh oh, come on, Randall. You're supposed to show me what you got. He won't do that again. Oh. 
I got the I got the chills. Jeez. Damn. He like Yeah. So he narrowed his attack down into like a into like a piercing shot kind of thing. It was blue too. Damn flies, just sure you guys saw that, it flew right into my face. Asta made it back in, okay. Do they all come in? Hmm. Uh oh. Ooh. Can you do it again? Okay. Neat. Oh shit. So his clothes are burning off. Oh. He is the Crimson Lion. Jesus. That's not the same thing he did before, but that's pretty badass. Oh. Was that the magical item? Was it like within the spider, like giving it strength? Yeah. Well, damn. Treasure! Oh. Do I want all that? <laughs> oh my god. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. We can bring back all the gold, right? The Clover Kingdom needs to keep repairing, right? From everything. Hot Springs. Mmm. 
<laughs> guess she know I was gonna say like does she know a lot about her mother, but I guess so. It'll take a while anyway. Oh god. Here we go again. Oh okay. It's uh it's Fugolian saying it, never mind. It's on my arm. Ah, I didn't get it. Son of a bitch. Sorry, I kind of missed what Fugolian was talking about. I wanted to kill the fly. No, oh, well, shit. Oh god. I thought he was gonna get pushed off their... their cloud. Is she there, kicking down the door again? Oh, yep. <laughs> okay! <laughs> So do we get more from uh Sisgolian then? Is that what that's teasing? I like this outro song, it's very chill. It almost sounds like the singer is like crying, you know, like it sounds like the voice is like quivering when she's singing certain parts. I don't know if it's supposed to sound like crying, you know, or, or whatnot, but... Shiitake Digital. <laughs> that was a fun episode, though. A lot of focus on Leo, which was cool. See, I thought because we got introduced to, like, Randall last episode that we were going to learn a lot more about Randall, but it seems like the main focus of this episode was, uh, was Leopold. Yeah, like, right there. If you told me she was, like, crying while singing that, I'd be like, I buy it. Alrighty, guys. That is it for episode 133. Yeah, good episode. Um, We got to see Leopold finding some improvements in his abilities, which they teased in his last fight that he was, like, on the verge of, of realizing something, you know? And, uh... And it seems like he kind of got a glimpse of what that could be. Obviously, as he said here, he needs to fine-tune it to be able to use it at will and stuff like that. But pretty cool. Uh, we had them going into this dungeon like we thought. And I kind of wish we got a little bit more... I don't know. I guess I don't know what I wanted from the dungeon, you know? But... We got to see some traps, which is cool. We got to see the, the flesh mimic thing, which was, like, a different take on a mimic. Because usually, like, at least in my experience with mimics, it's usually, like, looks exactly like a chest, so it doesn't have the legs like this one had. And when uh, when it opens, it opens, like, the, the whole thing opening is a mouth, you know? Whereas this was, like, you open the top and it's just 
organs, you know? Ugh. It was weird and different. But I like the different take on it. It's strange. And it had, like, legs and stuff. Ugh. I like how Luck just brings it back. And he's like, look at this thing. And opens it up. And everyone's like, ugh. And he's just like, ha 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 ha. But, uh. But, yeah. We had the spider, which it seemed like the magical item was able to uh, make the the user's life force go berserk, which uh, which is pretty crazy. I wonder if like a a person wielded that, what it could do to their like magic, you know? I wonder, but I mean, I guess it's broken now. Uh, assumedly, like it seemed like it was broken, and she said that it was reduced to cinders, so. I imagine we're not going to have that in our pocket to be like, ooh, I wonder what would happen if, if someone were to use that kind of thing, so. Which kind of sinks. I think it would have been cool if we, like, used this little, like, training arc kind of thing to, like, explore this dungeon and also get, like, a tool that could be, you know, used against the devil and maybe it comes with, like, explosive power but, but comes with a price and we got to be careful about using it and everything, but... But, uh, I guess not. Anyway, uh, the, uh, I like the little Wizard King bits of, like, you know, he, he probably feels a bit pent up because he's so much weaker now. He probably can't, I don't even know if he, like, I don't know what kind of strength he has left, but I don't know if he can come into these, like, magic zones and, and stuff like that. I don't know if he has the strength to do this kind of stuff anymore. But you know he wants to. He loves seeing different kinds of like magic and different kinds of items and and stuff like that. So yeah, interesting. Um, but just like the poor, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, but the the assistant to the wizard king is stuck there, like just babysitting him the whole time, pretty much. Uh, but but yeah. <clears throat> I I like that like the episode really focused around Leopold. You know, it's uh it's pretty cool because he kind of been that character that like he kind of showed up, suddenly became rivals with Asta and then he's just been there here and there just saying like hey, we're rivals kind of thing without really getting too much more out of it, you know? But now we're seeing him improve as well as our Black Bull uh group and and everything and we had them mentioning here that they feel like their attack is stronger. And when it comes to magic, I was going to say that, like, I guess we went through this volcano thing so quickly that it didn't really feel like they should have became, like, noticeably stronger from it. But for one, it's hard to gauge, like, the strength of magic and, like, it's hard to gauge how much effort it takes to go through this volcano because obviously we see them struggling in the beginning and every now and then they mention like oh the heat's crazy but like i'm sure it is taxing which means it's taxing their mana skin that they're putting up which means it's improving the control of their their magic and and everything so obviously it is making them stronger but when it comes to magic it's always hard when when people train to actually, like, see it becoming better, you know? So, just kind of a, just kind of a weird thing that, that is hard to show the audience them, them getting stronger, other than developing new attacks. But when, when you consider, like, like, uh, Noelle using her, like, water dragon roar or whatever it is that she does, it's, not very easy to see that roar happen. Fly almost flew into my face again. It flew, like, into my eye earlier, but luckily, like, I instinctively, like, shot my eye, and I felt it, like, fly into my eye, and now I'm, like, paranoid every time it flies by my face. I need to try to get... I guess I gotta try to get rid of it before my next episode, because it's just gonna annoy the crap out of me like it is right now. Um, but... But, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like her her water dragon roar thing, like she used it and she's like, oh, feels like it's stronger, but like, I didn't feel like it was stronger, you know? Like, it's just kind of one of those things that they're able to tell, but it, it's really hard to convey it to the audience, unless you do something crazy like make it bigger or or something, or have them use it against something they used it on in the past and it didn't work. And then now suddenly it works and they can be like, oh, I'm stronger. But in a case where, like, I have no idea how that water dragon roar 
affected those golems before, but you know, apparently she was able to tell that it's uh it's better now. But anyway, um, that's just one of those things that comes with magic. That's why like. One of the cool things I like about My Hero Academia is I feel they do a good job of showing, like, the the growth of the kids' powers, and you see them, like, training specific aspects to to be able to, like, do different things, you know? And, uh, and sometimes they're developing new techniques, but sometimes they're just, like, practicing the one thing over and over until they can do it better. And I feel like they, they do a really good job of, like rapidly demonstrating it without it being like too much of overkill but but yeah anyways guys honestly i think that's really all i have to to talk about like i, I like the bits with uh when noel and her mom and all that we got that again like we had last time they came to the volcano and and stuff like that but i like that it seemingly sisgolian brought the black bulls in order to spur on leopold's growth potentially so that's kind of interesting too, but other than that, I don't really have much much more to talk about. I, I do, I guess before I end the episode, I do want to go back because I was so busy trying to kill that fly that I didn't really hear what, I don't know if it was a big deal, but <clears throat> I think it was about here where I stopped really paying attention. Stay calm, even if you become overheated. Learn to determine when you have warmed up enough. Discipline your body and soul with cold water and then return to the bath. Consider this an opportunity to train in facing yourself. You must never forget to cleanse your body before soaking. Never let your towel touch the water. When you're done using the shower and bathing area, make sure to rinse them off with hot water. <laughs> Make sure you leave things as you found them. He's just lecturing them on proper bathing etiquette. <laughs> Nothing beats watch washing each other's backs is what uh is what Gordon said. Okay. Uh that's basically the whole part where I was trying to kill the fly. I was trying to move slowly and, and take it out, but I don't know where it went. I'm gonna have to find that thing, I guess. Hey look, there's a spider up there. I wish the fly would fly into its web. God damn it. Okay. Um, anyway, thank you guys. That's going to be it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed, uh, make sure you check out my Patreon. If you want to see more content from me, you can see two episodes ahead on there. Also, you can hit that subscribe button, which is a free way to support the channel. I very much appreciate it guys. Link in the description below, or it should be popping up on the screen and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.